Hello, well here, and in this video we're going to look at the new DLC, well part and one part of new, the update that came into the game, the 1.50 update. Uh, we're gonna, I'm not going to be looking at the cars so much, uh, because you know a lot of you, you know, a bunch of you watch, might be watching this, probably already seen all the cars and stuff like that. Otherwise you've probably already seen that we have the Lewis Hamilton time trial challenge. Now, I'm going to address one, first of all, let's address one of the big elephants in the room. There's no way I'm going to be able to beat all these times. <laughs> it, that's plain and simple. It's, I'm not going to beat these times, so don't expect any miracles there. Uh, because, you know, it's, it's a challenge. And as you can see, I've already gone through it. You will be seeing the replays of my races. Uh, yeah, the North Slifer did go a little bit wrong. I know I can get a silver in that. Definitely. Easily enough, get a silver. But I just, just went a little bit wrong. I unfortunately only got a bronze. But I can easily do that again, get a silver. Bosh. But, are you going to expect, expect me to beat the Lewis Hamilton times? Hell no. I'm not going to be able to beat them. Not for at least definitely for a wee wee while. But it's time to also address the second elephant in the room, which is by the fact that this is a paid DLC. Now I know that obviously would have struck up some little bits of controversy within the Gran Turismo community. You know, some people would be happy to pay for it, and some people are probably out either outraged or at least annoyed that you have to that is a paid DLC is you know it, this is not free considering that all the other updates that we get with the game are free but this one is you do have to pay for it now I don't know what what their prices are in different countries I don't know what it will be in dollars and in yen and euros and everything like that I don't know what the exchange rate is uh, but for me I paid six pound forty nine now for me for a DLC yeah, it's the kind of the kind of price I'm expecting to pay for a DLC. Now I don't know all details, so I definitely do know that if you get if you get all the bronze, you get the AMG that you use whilst doing all of these time trials, apart from the Sauber. That's the only one you don't get. If you that's, no, you don't get that one. Uh, you might get that one if you get all silver, all silver, or all, all gold. You might get the Sauber. Uh, but I do know if you get all if you get all bronze, you get the AMG. So you do get rewards for for at least getting all bronze, and obviously you'll get a reward for doing all silver. You'll get an award for getting all gold, and you also do get rewarded for beating Lewis Hamilton's times. Which I believe, if you beat all of Lewis Hamilton's times, the money cap. For your credits goes from 20 million up to 100 million so the question is is it worth the price is it worth paying for now i do get why some people 
will not be happy to pay for this and don't want to pay for it. And if that's the case, fair enough. That's your choice. Now, whether it's worth per like basically worth six pound fifty. Okay, for, for me, it probably wouldn't be primarily more on the basis of because I'm probably never going to beat Lewis Hamilton's times. So, in that kind of retrospect, it kind of diminishes the price and makes it feel like well, it might be a, a little bit too much because I'm never going to be able to complete it. I'm never going to be able to basically finish it. Uh, but then, hence why, well, that's why they call it a challenge. It's an obstacle to overcome. I'm, I'm, but I'm happy to pay for it because I can afford it. Now, no, not everybody. Now, even though it's not, no, not much, I know not everybody's going to be able to always afford it, you know, because obviously everybody has house bills to pay for, kids to pay for, this to pay for, that to pay for. So, even sometimes, something like six or seven dollars or six or seven pounds to spend on a little tiny DLC might be asking a bit too much but if you want a challenge if, you, if you're if you someone who, who's like you think you're pretty good at the game but you definitely know you could can definitely go faster I would say it is worth getting this because this is the first time when I've actually, apart from, apart from the North Cypher, I had TCS on for that one because sod am I trying to drive that car around this track with no TCS. But with all the other tracks, I felt like I had to push myself to actually try and drive the cars with no TCS, which is, which is, for group threes, I don't normally do. I normally tend to have like TS, TCS on like one or two. Uh, but on this occasion, I felt like I had to push myself to actually turn off traction control and then actually have a go at it and and the results were all right they, yeah they weren't amazing but you know i had done too badly i don't think silver on most of them apart from the north cipher that's because i buggered it up but at the end of the day if you don't want to pay for it then don't get it if you're happy to pay for it and pay for it. But that's enough about all of that. So now we're going to crack on, and I'm going to put in all. We're going to see all my my lap times, the lap times I put in. Uh, we're just going. I'm just going to put them in and just have a little, have a little watch and have a little chat, I suppose, as you say. So let's go and begin with Dragon Tail Seaside. Uh, so yeah, these aren't going to be anything special, they're going to be nothing crazy. Just trying to see what time we can get. Uh, and as you can see, if you see Lewis Hamilton's time, where well, your normal speed times would be. So, as about the moment, my main goal for most of these was to get... Well, was to obviously try and aim for the goal, which obviously I saw. Didn't happen. <laughs> but yeah, as I said in the in the beginning part, I'm not running traction control on, on any of these apart from when I do the North Slifer. And for me, that's kind of it's sort of like I don't know. It's like I was probably trying to, I was well, at least trying to anyway, trying to drive a little bit more carefully than what I normally do, so I may have not pushed as hard in some of the corners. I mean, there, for me there, that felt a little bit slow. It's a little bit slow. For there. And as you can see, I'm being I'm being left behind by Lewis Hamilton. You know, he's just, he's just, leave, he's just leaving me behind. <laughs> so I'm just nothing but a speck in this, in this rear view mirror. Now, I don't actually have the Lewis Hamilton ghost running in any, in any of these clips because... I do actually find, that, you know, it's more like 
if at any point if I did manage to actually get close to the ghost, I would normally find it quite distracting. That's a great time. I, I normally find the ghosts very distracting, so I normally have them off. Are you sure, Lewis? Are you sure that was a great time? But that's the first one. So, next one we're at is at the Maggiore. With the, with the full circuit at Maggiore. And once again, no TCS. Uh, the, the Lewis Hamilton ghost is off because, again, I can find the ghost very distracting sometimes. Even though I know it's only a ghost, it's just like when they're very near, I find it very distracting with trying to get the braking zones on. Uh, so, yeah, you are doing all, all of these in the AMG Group 3, uh, except from the North Buffer, that is done in the Sauber Mercedes. Uh, they're all done on racing cards. You can't you can't change the tires. You can't set up the car. It's basically stock car. You're on the racing cards, and that's that. That's literally all you got. So as you can see at the moment, pretty far behind Lewis Hamilton from time. But that's to be expected. Now, I don't know what the ghost repositioned thing is. Uh, I don't know if that's because if the ghost is getting like too far ahead, that it repositions the ghost for you. I don't know. I don't exactly know what that is, but I can only really guess that's what it does. So as you can see, miles behind, just absolutely miles behind. So technically here I'm aiming for two minutes, at least two minutes. So are we going to get under two minutes? Well technically we do, because the team That's a silver. Time. I don't know. <laughs> it's a average time, it's a it's probably a little bit faster than what I normally do actually. Right. Now this one was a this one I was even actually skeptical to get even get actually getting silver on this one. Because it's brand Hatch and brand Hatch is a track I'm not very strong on, I'm not very strong on brand Hatch. So that's to be expected, and I was going a little bit wrong there. I want to do this bit of time, not just on the Samsung time, but also the time to get silver, which obviously in the end I do, as, you, as I did explain now, I do. Because I've got silver on all of them, apart from the North Cycle, this channel I've got bronze, all I've got is go back into it quickie, blah blah blah, do another lap, and I'll be able to get silver pretty easy enough. Let's see, miles behind Hamilton's. So, there is definitely a lot of room for improvement for me because the people who have beat Hamilton's times, you know, they've beat me by like maybe like half a second, kind of thing, kind of area. But I'm still very far behind. So obviously for me, there's still Lots That's of room to time. improve. Lots of room to improve. It's an alright time for me. Not a great time. It's an all. It's an all right time. Everything on this is all right. All right Dick Willow. Next. This one was another pain in the ass. Because obviously with Big Willow, it's. If you if if you go if you go into the desert if you go on a little bit of sand that's it your car's just like no nah, I'm going to the desert mate I want to go and, I want to go and see what's hidden in the sand kind of thing you know you just go flying off so we'll see what time we get 
And this section, this section here is always the section that always buggers me up. I'm more, I'm not too bad on the rest of it, it's just that little tiny area there is what always buggers me up every time. Uh, I just can't, I just can't get it right. No matter how many times I've tried it, I just can't, I just never get it right. I can get it done alright, but I can never get it right. Uh, I suppose this corner as well is one I could probably definitely improve on a little bit. I'm always a bit iffy with it because I'm always thinking like, I'm gonna go, am I going to go too wide kind of thing. That's but this is allowing time. me to see, also see where other places where I can improve and where I can think. Thanks to this, it was alright. Did a bit off, but not too, but all in all, not too bad in the end I suppose. But this is allowing me to see where I can actually improve in certain areas. Um, you know, it is quite beneficial, but if you heard that, it's just to kept my cat going mad. I don't know why, he's racing, he, see, he, even he's trying to beat Lewis Hamilton. He's trying to race around the room faster than what Lewis Hamilton would. Now this was one that I was always a bit like, I don't know how well I'm going to do with this one. Especially since I've run with no traction control on it. Obviously, in the end, I do get silver. So it's like going for the S section. Bit, yeah, not probably not my best exit S section I've done before. I've de you know, I've definitely done the S section better than that before, but. What can I do? All I can do is just go back in and try it again. But it's a question of how close do I get to the gold time. Now, one thing I don't get actually during this, I don't know if it was just a bug. I'm not sure, sure if it was just a bug or I'm just reading it incorrectly here. But for most of the times of this, when I was getting silver, and I was getting 500,000 credits each time. But I'm pretty sure you're only supposed to get 300,000 credits from silver, and it's 500,000 credits for getting the gold time. Yet, I was always getting 500,000 credits. As far as I'm aware, for every single one, I got 500,000 credits, apart from the North Cypher, which was obviously the only one that I didn't get silver. So we're going to have a look at the end. I want to see what I actually got in the way to... As you know, I don't think I, don't think I have actually had those in the kits, but... I, so I don't know if it was just a bug. Yeah, a bit of a rubbish cane now, well granted. A bit, a bit, a bit, a bit of rubbish, that one. But yeah, so I don't know if it was a... I don't know if it was a bug. Because you're only supposed to get 300,000 for silver. But I was always getting 500,000. So I don't know if it was a bug or not, but... Yeah, you can argue. <laughs> right, so we're at Suzuka. Next we're at Monza. Now this was... This is one where I think my lap time in the end... I do think that... Okay, Lewis Hamilton's lap time is still a little bit out of the way. But for me to get gold... I might actually be able to do it. There was just one or two areas on this where I needed to improve. And I mean, the first game, yeah, probably wasn't the fastest, but it was it was all, it was actually an all right chicane. Because even though Lewis Lewis's ghost technically would actually be ahead of me at this moment, I am catching up. You know, I am actually catching up with it very slowly. So that first chicane wasn't too bad. Second chicane. Again, probably could have been a little bit faster, but all in all, still pretty smooth. But could have been just probably just a little bit faster. Let's know one was a bit yeah, a little bit off. I think with Let's know one. Let's know two. Let's know two wasn't too bad. Let's know one probably lost a little bit of time there to get for getting gold. 
So we're now coming up to Ascari. Now I was trying to be careful to not get penalties because you do get penalties in this. Uh, so in the Ascari there, no, Ascari again, a bit rough. So I could probably easily improve, easily improve Ascari. And then coming up to Parabolica. Unfortunately, on this cut, in this case, with Parabolica, I do go very wide out. I do, I do kind of kind of go kind of quite quite wide out on Parabolica, so I think I probably could have done That's Parabolica a, a little bit faster as well. You know, so so there. I don't know how much time I would have lost because of Ascari and Parabolica directly. But gold, I reckon, is achievable over there. Lewis, Lewis's time, though, maybe not so much. But we're going for a nice long one here. And but on to the next one. Right, so the next one is Map Panorama. I bloody hated this one. I hate, I hate this track in general. Well, it's not, it's not so much that I don't hate the track. I'm just not the hugest fan of the track. I mean, I don't mind it, but. I would have preferred something else rather than Mount Panorama or Bar first. But eh, there's nothing I could do about it, so. Eh. So now it's just a question of what time do I get? And how far am I, how am I off from gold on this one? If any of these corners have names, which I think most of them do, I don't know. Which I don't know what the names are. I don't remember what the names are anyway, at least anyway. Oh, catch up with this? Oh, no, I'm not. Yes, I am. And then I'm not. You know, there's a there's a bit of that. In there. But unfortunately, we'll lose a couple, of, maybe a couple, one or two temps there. Within that wall there. Again, this was another one where I was probably driving just a tiny bit more careful because I'm running with no TCN, TCS on. Nope, little clash there. Uh, so obviously going downhill for me was like, well, I'm used to having the TCS on for this, so I'll get that little tiny bit more extra grip in the corners. And obviously, if I'm running it on, it's like, trying to be a bit, a tiny bit more careful, so that would affect my time a little bit as well. But also having TCS on also does affect the time a bit as well, so you know, it's kind of like a double-edged sword kind of thing really. Going up to the last couple of corners. Again, being left behind by Lewis Hamilton. Being left behind. Uh, let's see what we can get. So, we're in. There That's goes the gold. Time. So, gold? Gold is possibly achievable. I just need to learn to trust the car a little bit more, I think, is what I need to do. I just need to learn to trust the car just a little bit more in some of the corners. Uh, so, here we are, into Lagos now. So how do we do our into Lagos? Center S. Oh, no, not a terrible center S. I mean, not as fast as Lewis Hamilton, but oh, no, not a terrible center S. So I'm off to an okay start at the moment. Not amazing start, but all that stuff. Yeah, beyond the Astro there. But no penalties, so I carried on. And around we go. Always trying to be a little bit careful around here as well, especially from doing that because it's easy, because no TCS, you get a little bit less grip. So always be a little bit careful there. So I think all in all, really, at the end of this, with this, is for me to get a faster lap time, 
is I need to learn to trust the car. Trust that the car's gonna get the grip. Trust the car's gonna be out of get around that corner at that particular speed. But let's see what we get for a lap time. That's a great time. There goes the gold. So that again. All God is is to learn to trust the car a bit more, and I reckon that one, is, as far as Monster, is another one where I can actually get gold in it. So many other ones, not so much at the moment. It's now at Nuremberg Now this this is one where I just generally have to improve on the track, just in general. It's mainly sort of like this first area. I mean, the first corner. Alright on. I mean sometimes I have slightly rough, sometimes I'm uh, actually not too bad, but it's this area. This is one area where I definitely need to be able to get faster at because as in with my FIA race that I did here like a couple of weeks ago I think it was now. That section there was I always felt really really slow for that section. Compared to other people I always felt really really slow for that section. And I just can't get it. Now, I'm not totally sure where exactly I'm going wrong on that one. I don't know if it, it's the if it's my break where I'm breaking for that corner is where I'm going wrong with it, or if it's I'm just not accelerating at the right points. So I'm not 100 sure. The uh, Schumacher S wasn't bad, probably could have been better, but it wasn't bad. But as you can see, I am being again left behind <laughs> by Lewis Hamilton. But it's all about seeing what's but So the silver time is two minutes, so I'm going to get into two minutes. But there's, a, there's quite a big gap between two minutes and 156.5. I mean, chicane could have probably been a little bit faster. To be honest, I think it probably could have been a little bit faster, but eh, could have been a hell of a lot worse. So what did we get? There goes a the gold. That's a great time. And you know, I'm just about within the silver. All right, I'm going to leave you with the Sauber race without me commentating over it or anything like that. So, I'll see you at the
Good job. That's it for this video. So please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And please remember to share this with some of your friends. And also let me know in the comments below what your thoughts on this is. You know, should they have charged for the DLC? Should they have it should it have been a free update? Or do they have the right to actually charge for it? Because let's face it, it's business. And you know, let me know if you think that you will be able to beat his times or not beat his times would you be able to beat my times which in the case of most people yes <laughs> but please remember to also check out my other Grand Tourism videos uh, there'll probably be some at the end on the, on the end title screen there'll probably be some links up there you can click on to go and watch some other stuff of me doing badly at the game <laughs> but until then I will see you all at the finishing line.